Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Crack and Fall, and today we are reacting to Let's Game It Out's second satisfactory video. This factory exists to make you question life. Hey Hobbs, what's up? What are you doing, bud? He always hears me narrating <laughs> or speaking and comes and checks out what's going on. If you haven't seen it, I've got a couple episodes of a Let's Play series of Satisfactory out with more on the way. If you want to check that out, here's a link. The Satisfactory has been extremely satisfying to play, which sounds obvious, but not everybody is satisfied by the same thing, so making an entire game designed to be satisfying is kind of a toss-up. Satisfactory, like a lot of you have guessed in the comments, has plugged straight into my brain, like some kind of matrix where instead of living a normal life, you're on an alien planet automating manufacturing. <laughs> Even that sounds kind of boring. How can you make manufacturing sound exciting? But there's so much joy to find in Satisfactory. I'm really glad I started playing and I can't get enough of it. What's up, Hobbs? He's like crawling all around my monitors. I don't know what he's doing. And no, I'm not going to show that because he's walking across a tangle of cords and uh, I don't want to get judged for my cable management. <laughs> no, I really need to clean it up. Now we're about to watch Josh from Let's Game It Out return to Satisfactory, and I can expect nothing less than a complete and utter destruction of that satisfaction. And don't forget, if you haven't watched Let's Game It Out's video, please click on the link here and go check it out. I'll also put the link in the description. Please watch the video first before you watch this reaction. All right, let's go. Now this thumbnail has the LGIO stamp of authenticity. <laughs> I mean, spaghetti factories are inevitable, but this is like 100% steroid injected, uncontrolled, like it's like a box of unwrapped charging cables. It's like all tangled up. I mean, he's even mixing materials on the same belt. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> this is unnecessarily chaotic. Although this is the kind of thing I could see myself doing if I wanted to drive my loved ones up a wall. Like, yeah, I would totally do this to my sister-in-law <laughs> if we were playing together or something. In fact, I might actually do it at some point. Who knows? Despite that, I, I would say my, my factory is a total spaghetti factory. I feel like it's a clear example of like a new player getting in, just making things that work. Uh, although not everything works because it took me a couple hours to really understand the inputs and outputs. And so I, I I am looking forward to my first rebuild, which I expect is going to go well. Let me know if you want me to stream that. All the Let's Play episodes have been streamed on twitch.tv slash Krakenfall, and it's been fun and, and helpful to have chat. Let, let's get on with it. Sorry. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. I am Josh, and we are doing more satisfactory today. To catch you up, if you haven't seen the last episode, all you really need to do is look at this mess here. This is <laughs> I like I like how he's got that one foundation. Chat has been mercilessly, not that they've been bugging me, but they've been repeatedly suggesting over and over again, several times an hour that I should use foundations to organize things, measure things, and just make it easier to manage, which I get it, chat. I will do that eventually. But right now, I'm just getting the stuff done. I'm on tier four. Four, five now, which means that I'm getting into some pretty complex chains of automation, but uh, I definitely am going to put the time in to complete it from the ground up. I'll probably make actually multiple factories and have little nodes of manufacturing. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me, you know, when I need to start combining items, but we'll see. Anyway. To catch you up, if you haven't seen the last episode, all you really need to do is look at this mess here. This is one of them assembly line games where you find efficient ways to extract minerals and then process them, or in my case, do it in the dumbest way possible. But after we unlock these two tiers, that's when the space elevator begins. And obviously, that's when the fun begins. Each a lot of people have been telling me that the updates to the game have drastically changed a lot. And I can already tell, like right near the wall doors, like those aren't available unless you use the awesome shop, which I don't know if the awesome shop existed at this point. So please bear with me and all of the, the different changes to the game. I know that the game is drastically different at this point. Milestone to unlock. We have to get the materials down below where it says milestone cost. It's stuff that we've made before. Iron plates, iron rods, wire. The goal we're going to set is for this one because it gives us a conveyor splitter and a conveyor merger, which I think is going to be really helpful. We could make everything streamlined like I have the iron stuff. We're probably going to make everything crazy like this or crazier, <laughs> hopefully crazier. Okay, let's unlock logistics Being very here. straightforward about this up front about I mean. wire, 200 pipe, and 200 sheets of metal. Here we go. Re uh, ready for launch. Launch pod. All right. Push. Where are you going? Wait, where are you going? Pod will return in two and a half minutes. Oh, here it comes again. Welcome back. Where, where did you go? Looking at the milestone cost for all know. these things, they're all the same. It's just plating and pipes and copper. We can do this super fast, actually. All we really need to do is just gather the supplies, then we're all good. Which means we need to make our stuff with peak efficiency. Because we have such efficient machines now, we have all 
the materials we need to just keep on going, so we're gonna select the milestone personal storage, give it all the materials it wants, and live life to its fullest. All right, fantastic. We can build personal storage boxes. They did already give us one, but more is always better. Can I just put it on the other one? Okay, well, let's put it second best place, just kind of out there in the open for everyone to enjoy. And now we're gonna select the last thing of tier one. Launch again. That takes care of all of tier one. Moving on to tier two. Wait a minute. I can just build the space elevator now? Look at that. The stuff it needs isn't even that hard. We'll get that. Okay, new objective. We need to get that space elevator placed ASAP. So to make the space elevator, we're gonna need 500 concrete. So if our limestone mining thingy is right here, and our facility is right up there, probably the smartest thing to do is connect a conveyor belt here that just goes straight up there, similar to where the power line is. But we're not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is aim at the other direction and have some fun. Let's see, we're gonna just <laughs> take it over here, and we're gonna put it right there. We just need to connect it, but uh, I'm gonna go the other direction. That's like how I play most games. Like you're a true gamer if uh, you know the way you're supposed to go and you go the opposite way, except this is with building. That's a little nice, let's game it out touch. I will comment on the space elevator. I also didn't know that you could build it immediately. I heard that shipping materials up the space elevator was kind of the point of the game. So I assumed it was going to be a late game thing. So it took me a while to actually build the space elevator. Maybe something I wish was a little clearer. There, ramp it right there like so. Okay, it's a good start. Basically, I want to get up there. I think we can do it. Hey, good news. If you vaporize whatever was beneath it, you can just have this thing floating <laughs> in midair, just like God yep. intended. Okay, looks yep. like it's flowing as needed. All the ore just comes right over here, then it hangs out on this water slide for a while. What do you so I am building a giant man. I found that giant N archway, like stone archway. So I'm using this exact same trick where you use the foundations to build things like power poles and belts and then delete the foundations underneath it. I like games that don't make you keep it connected to the ground floor, I guess. It's just funner that way. You think, dude, you think it's peak efficiency? So once you get past this part over here, it comes on over here. And because I hate myself, I went ahead and put the smelter <laughs> right here, floating in midair uncomfortably. Wait. Funny story. That gives me ideas. Why do I have to have factory walls? I mean, if you ever need to modify your factory, it's going to be a pain, royal pain in the butt if you have to float around. And I know there's a jetpack eventually that you get, but like, even, yeah. Sorry, I'm just getting inspired for, for a potential factory build. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. It'd be cool. It'd be cool to have, like, arrays of different things. You can make it as spread out as you want. You don't have to try and compact everything and, like, deal with the uh, issues of having a small, compact, tight space. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that down because that sounds very appealing to me. Not having to, like, deal with walls and floors and, and lights and stuff. Just fly up to it. Sounds like an interesting design. So we'll we'll see if I actually do it. It turns out we can't smelt limestone yet. I'm sure that'll unlock shortly. I hope. <laughs> but until then, this thing is unfortunately jammed. So what I'm going to do temporarily is put a storage container up here. We're going to remove this part of the conveyor belt, and we're going to add a conveyor belt going right into the storage container there. So at least we'll be collecting all of this limestone in the meantime. Oh, and in case you're wondering, it takes about 12 minutes for the ore to get from start <laughs> to finish. Okay, so let's go ahead and unlock the color gun now. As always, just hand over all the things it wants and launch that bad boy into space. Bye, have a good trip. All right, I gotta build me this color gun, gimme. Here we go, here we go, color gun, color gun, color gun, color gun. There it is, my color gun. Ooh, look at all these colors we can have. Ooh, three shades of pink. He's still my heart. Let's go with the dark pink. And obviously no color gun. I have not touched aesthetics yet. Like color color cartridge, color gun, I, I think I can access it right now where I'm at and with my update. I'm playing update five, now update six. And I had kind of just planned on getting into color after I do my build of the giant man, because uh, I'll, I'll be painting him afterwards. What's the opposite of a miniature? A, a macro witcher or a statue, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Gun is complete without color cartridges. Ta-da! It's like a paintball gun. Well, it looks like a paintball gun because it uh, it pretty much is a paintball gun. Oh. So, wow. Okay. You just shoot everything and it just changes color. I That's like it. Cool. Now, a smart person would use this stuff to color code things, but right now, I'm just doing it for funsies. How far can this reach? Can I hit this guy way over here? Oh, yeah. Next, we're going to work <laughs> on obstacle paint trees? clearing because it gives us a chainsaw. All right, let's go use it on... Oh, I need fuel. Let's just go take it from our machine. I can't wait. There we go. Oh, boy. All right, let's go try this guy. Out. Can I use it on my own buildings? It won't let you use it on your own stuff. Oh, no. but this all looks promising. Can you can't use it as a weapon either. I tried during stream. <laughs> I was trying to Gears of War the speed pig. It's just like, Rrr. it didn't work, sadly.
Uh, it is a very handy tool, though. Like, the chainsaw idea and the way they implemented it is very cool, and I appreciate it, because biomass is really annoying. Come here. Yep, yep. Carve right three. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, you want some? Is it go time? Yeah! Come here. You want a piece of this? <laughs> I don't think you can fight with no, this thing, which is sadly. most unfortunate. Wow, that really makes... I'm agreeing with Let's Game It Out. What is this change that is coming over me? <laughs> It's a lot of wood, doesn't it? So I'm just waiting on my production to make enough stuff so we can unlock the rest of the tiers. But while we do that, I have another project we're gonna work on. We have over here three ore deposits, and we're gonna add those into our factory. So let's get this stuff out of the way. This is where I made my factory. <laughs> I hope this isn't a sign. My save is gonna turn up like Let's Game It Out. Wait first. Okay, so that exposes one, and two, and three. We're gonna put these miners on them. There we go, there's one of them. There's the second one, there's the third one, there's all three of them. Okay, so hold on <laughs> this for a second. We're gonna add some more production stuff. Man, this is a lot of running though. This going back and forth is getting real tiresome. So I think yep. it's time to unlock the jump pads. Jump pads come to me. So like, if I, I wanna get over yet. here quick, I'm assuming that means I just take a jump pad and put it right here like that. Do I just, uh, do I just jump on this and, yep, here we go. Oh, you know, I really didn't think about this. <laughs> huh, it's weird, I appear to be dead. Well, at least we know exactly where we're gonna land. So if I were to, like, put a jump pad back the other direction, I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Okay, there we go. I think I aimed it right so that, uh, yep, landed right on it. Okay, then, I understand. Just gotta move this back a little bit. How do you test that? Do it. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here Without we go, gonna land right on it. Like oh, yeah, it just launches you right back. Let's try one of these jelly pads now. I think, I think that should be about right. Look at that, it's a big jello mold. No way I can screw this up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, ah, that works just great. This is very nice. Much That's better cool. for getting around. I so need pretty to much for this. the moment, sorry to say, but I don't think there's a way to launch stuff off of a jump pad. <laughs> We're gonna finish the final tier two <laughs> milestone part that. assembly. And give me the launch codes. Okay, so I finished building out this conveyor belt. I don't really know where oh. to begin. It's kind of a disaster. Okay, he merged the iron rods with the iron plates. They're on the same belt, which is, I was told, not a great idea because you cannot sort things until later on so he's gonna have mixed materials and unless he puts it in a storage container you think you can press shift or control left click to pick up all stacks of the same type of material so pro tip i mean it shows you on the screen but maybe not a great idea to put everything on the same belt i mean it just goes for a while when i look over at the mess it just gets worse and worse and worse none of this is necessary by the way oh my frame rate so i kind of just weaved it in with the other stuff and it just you know oh god i don't even know where it starts and ends at this point like it kind of comes and goes wherever it pleases comes up here for a little while all the way up here and then back down while i'm up here i should point out that my limestone production has gotten really advanced Josh, maybe you should have a fidget spinner in your in your other hand while you're building these belts. Advanced. I've had so much build up over time. I had to build several containers like so, and the way it works is the conveyor belt brings it into the first level, and to make sure it doesn't get filled up, it exits out, swirls back around, goes to the second level, and through a series of building upon itself like a coiled snake, it eventually finds its way up to the <laughs> third one. Anyway, back to this. Now you can use conveyor belt lifts to just make sure that once one container's filled, it'll lift it to the next container, and you can do this kind of zigzag build to have a vertical container array. Sky. It eventually makes its way all the way over here, reaches back over to the mainland, as we'll call it, and now we're back in familiar territory. We find that it eventually meets up here with the little junction box thingy, and it shoves all of it into this nice container over here. And there it is, all of our extra materials. Now that that's handled at long last, let's make the space elevator. Ah, uh, but where to put it? So if our main base is up there, let's just put it near this abomination. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, here we go. There it is, space elevator, all kinds of materials flying in to take care of it. And scene. There's our space elevator. What's it doing? Is it like a transformer? Looks like some legs doing something weird, kind of unsightly. Whoa, whoa, oh. Now those legs are holding a, uh, oh, oh, that's, that's, t let's, let's forget the legs thing I was talking about. <laughs> okay, well now I can't unsee that. Are you done doing your business? Okay, so we need to configure the space elevator. 
funny. When that first happened, I didn't get to see it. it it's a really cool animation. I did not get to see it because of reasons that you'll find out in episode three of my satisfactory Let's Play. Not not to cliffhanger you. I apologize. It is really cool, like how the space elevator comes down and then the, the legs can attach. They did a really good job of making things cool in this game. Elevator. Project assembly platform. Delivery will unlock tiers three and four. This? This is it? I can totally do that. Hold on. I'm not even going to automate this. I'm just going to build them right now. Yeah. Eventually, though, I will automate this. You're going to need to done. Let's it. go load this thing up. Okay, so load. Now... One of the things that I did just by default, because I, I figured I'm going to need all of these resources times a thousand by the, you know, by the time I progress to the next level. So I just automated it straight away first thing and just started filling storage containers with materials. And already I've almost run out of almost all of the materials that I just grinded at the beginning. So pro tip, if you're going to play this game, and I would recommend it, definitely just automate as soon as you can and start having boxes fill up with the, with the materials. It'll come in handy for sure. Let's seal it. There they go. Okay, bye. Is it time to send? Let's do it. <laughs> ah, there goes the parcel up the space elevator, I assume. Oh, space elevator is having a little <laughs> conundrum over there. Is it doing what it needs to do? Is that the package going away? Okay, I'm going to assume that that did it. Let's go back and check out what the new tiers look like. That unlocked tiers three and four. Let's see what kind of fun stuff we have here. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is where stuff gets good. We have a tractor which can move on its own. Truck station for the tractor. Coal power. Oh, no. There's a better conveyor belt. Well, it looks like we got a project <laughs> ahead of us, right? <laughs> to retrofit all of our old conveyor belts with new ones. Oh, and would you look at that? There's a Mark III conveyor belt. Yep. Why would I even bother with the Mark II one if I know there's a Mark III I can go to? So it looks like we got lots of goals here, lots to accomplish. I feel pretty okay with the crime against humanity we did over there with that <laughs> conveyor belt system, but I know that next time we're gonna have to kick it up a notch, so I gotta brainstorm what we can do next. If you have any suggestions for what we can Everything do to make this crawling. even sillier, go ahead and place those in the comments. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Game It Out. As always, I am Josh, and I will see you next time. That was not a lot of craziness. I guess I'm not that surprised by his spaghetti factory because this is not that hard to do. And in fact, I imagine he didn't spend that much time. Now, I kind of take that back immediately because <laughs> to get every single level of these belts, he's going to have to have made foundations. And he has belts that are going just above them. Every time you see it not standing on a belt like over here, that means he's put a foundation there or a belt and then removed it. So you can't really tell exactly how much time he put into it but spaghetti belts just happen in this game like that's that's just a thing i was grinding a lot of awesome shop tickets between last stream and yesterday's stream and i ended up just like deleting belts and then redirecting them over to the awesome machine the machine where you turn on the materials and then not fixing the belts afterwards so i have a, a lot of belts to nowhere <laughs> my game is so chaotic like it it's it's so overdue for a rebuild as for the level that he's at i haven't messed with vehicles yet but like in terms of the assembler and the constructor i don't know what was available in this update of satisfactory so i would love to see how the updates progress so that'll, that'll be good to see in his next satisfactory videos but man satisfactory is so fun to play <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly is probably going to edit this reaction, do the Phasmo stream because it's Friday, and then uh, probably play Satisfactory until the wee hours of the night. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please like and subscribe, click the buff notifications. I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Krakenfall, and you can get into the Discord with exclamation Discord command in the Twitch chat. <sighs> Otherwise, I'm going to go play more Satisfactory after editing this video. Bye-bye. <laughs>